Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about wearing a mask and wearing makeup. Best practices to avoid, things to play up your eyes, ways that you can approach your makeup now that we're all having half of our face covered. So please like, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and follow along. So the way you're gonna approach your makeup wearing a mask now has definitely changed because, I mean, half of your face is covered. So you still wanna be protecting your skin. I'm using the CeraVe Light, Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion because it still has like a little bit of an SPF in it. So don't forget your skincare just because half your makeup or half your face is covered. So I'm still applying my SPF down my neck. This way I know that if I take my mask off or I'm driving in the car without a mask, my skin is still protected. So face makeup. I've seen a lot of posts about complaining that your face makeup is now on your mask when you take it off. Here's my trick. Don't wear face makeup. Use this as an opportunity to let your skin breathe. I have not been wearing face makeup and my skin has never been better. I have some friends who have to wear a mask all day, like essential workers, and they're getting terrible breakouts. My recommendation is always just don't wear makeup, don't wear anything on your face that's going to be irritating it. At the end of the video, I'll show you a skincare product that I love to keep your skin clean so that you can hopefully avoid the mask knee. So no face makeup, my skin is protected with the CeraVe. I'm gonna go into my eyes here. This is again, a silver lining of wearing a mask. All you can really see, right, is your eyes. So use this as an opportunity to really play up your eyes. First thing I'm going to do is cover dark circles. Wearing a mask now, I feel like this area is so highlighted because not only is that the only place you can see, but that's the only place that you're showing expression because people can't see your mouth. So I've been really playing up my eyes. I have to cover any darkness I have. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. The color I'm using is light beige and 22B. And I'm using this one because it's a little bit heavier and it's a tiny bit lighter than the rest of my skin. So I feel like it gives me a really nice pop and brightens up my under eyes. Using my Beauty Blender to blend this in quickly. And I don't know about you, but I literally feel like every time I wear a mask, I'm like, why do I have such dark circles? But I don't think that I actually have terrible circles. I think it's that the mask just highlights your eyes so much and maybe your eyes are drawn to see things more so. Next, I definitely need to set this. So I'm using some translucent powder with my beauty blender. I always use the Laura Mercier. And I'm just not using a ton, but I do really need to set that into place. Okay, so my under eyes are set. I'm going to add a little bit of shadow to my eyes, nothing crazy. Something I've been using lately that I've been loving for my eyes is actually Hoola Light. It's by Benefit and it's actually a bronzer but it's so light that I've just been using it as eyeshadow and I love it. And you know what? I'm just gonna use my finger because I just wanna do a little bit. I don't like a ton of eye makeup and this seems to be kind of perfect for me. There we go. And what better applicator than your fingers? Voila. Eyes done. Next is I'm going to give myself a little bit of liner. I love this brand. It's out of Canada. Her name is Lisa Wattier. Hope I say that right. I'm using a jet black. I'm gonna zoom here. Okay. I'm going to, the reason I'm using the Lisa Wattier is it's waterproof. And I'm gonna start by doing a tight line. If you can notice, I'm taking the liner underneath my eye and getting in between the lash line to tight line. And since this is waterproof, it won't smudge. Do a little bit of a cat eye in the end there. And smudge it out with my finger, very nice. Same thing on the other eye, I go underneath my lash line, do a tight line and a tiny cat eye. And I smudge with my finger. 
A tool that I love using for my eyes is Anastasia A13 brush. If you could see the end of that brush. It's kind of a perfect for my eyeliner to blend my eyeliner. Because of the bristles, it's not too stiff and it's not too much of a fluffy brush. There we go. And this is kind of my secret brush that I use to always blend out my liner. And if you can see, it almost like creates a little bit of a shadow. This way it's not a super harsh black line, but it's almost like a perfect little blended cat eye, which of course is my absolute favorite signature eye. And I'm gonna add a little bit more in the ends to really define my eye. Okay. So I'm gonna drag out that little cat tail just a little bit with this brush. Make sure it looks even. Great, it's even. Next, eyebrows. I love doing eyebrows. So I love keeping this area very clean and without product. And if I do add product, I'll add just a tiny, tiny bit. I don't know, I think it looks more natural and that area is not really filled in. Voila, oh, I kind of did an aggressive brow there, I like it. But again, since I'm wearing a mask, I feel like my brows definitely have to be filled in a little bit. So I go on the top of my brows a little bit because that's where they lose a little bit of their definition and I'll fill in the arch right there. Remember, your eyebrows are sisters. They are not twins. If they do not look exactly the same, no one is going to notice. And if they're looking that close, that's their problem. Okay, last, is this the last step? I think it is, my mascara. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal. This mascara, it came out, I think, last year. And what's kind of cool about it is if you turn it one way, it's like the fat end and then turn it to its side and it's skinny. That's obviously on purpose. Let me zoom in here. So I'll take the fatter end and really get the product on there, work it on, then I'll turn it to its side, the skinny end, and go to the root and wiggle back and forth. I kind of forgot about this mascara. I've had it in my bag for a while and then I just refound it like two weeks ago and I actually really like this mascara. Good job, Rihanna. There we go. So I take the fatter end and coat my lashes really well and then turn it to the side, get the skinny side and work it on. Okay, I got some on my eyelid, but I'll show you the trick with that. So always do two coats. I am, unless you know your eye really well and you think you look good with only one coat, I always do two, but I'll go immediately to the other eye and then put my mascara on again or put the second coat on. The trick is not letting it dry too long in between applications. If you wait too long and then do it, it can get all like chunky and gross. There we go. Pretty. I love this mascara. Underneath, turn it perpendicular and get the bottoms. I feel like you look weird if you don't put on bottom mascara. If you feel like your mascara always runs, then skip the bottom or get a waterproof just for the bottom. Okay, I said mascara was the last, I kinda lied. I do wanna add a tiny bit of cheek color, even though I don't have on face makeup and I have a mask on, I still feel like adding blush helps. This is a Clinique fit. This line, to be honest, I never use anything by Clinique, but I bought like, makeup a few, I think I bought this last year to show like a workout makeup video and this line is for working out. Um, but this cheek flush is so pretty. I'm giving away my secrets right now, but this is a great, look how pretty that is. It's such a gorgeous color and because it's like sheer, it doesn't look aggressive. It doesn't look like you have all this like blush on. And I just think it looks so natural, I love it. And it would look good on all skin colors, which I love. Voila, I'm done, oh, I'm not done. How does everyone feel about their dry lips? 
My lips are so dry from wearing a mask. It drives me crazy. I drink so much more water now because of it, but I'm also using my, it's Mongo Kiss. I get this at Whole Foods. It's my absolute favorite. I always have one next to my bed, in my bathroom, and in my purse. So I always make sure my lips are super, super moisturized. And voila, this is your mask makeup. Very chic, whoops. See? So I really hope this video was helpful. If you've taken away anything from this video, it's that you can skip your expensive foundation, play up your eyes, have fun, embrace the season that we're in, and let's keep each other safe. Have a great day. Is this chic or not chic? I don't know. Does this mask make me look tired?